Our company name is Hen Ideas, and what we decided to do was to attack the problem of don't you hate it when you lose things. So the way we tried to solve that is using FM transmitters to transmit a signal and receive it by a small receiver that you would attach to your key fob, your wallet, put it in your remote control, different things like that. The way we made that work is by using an FM transmitter that using a small microphone goes through different different resistors and capacitors, one transistor and a variable capacitor and it will transmit using the inductor and the antenna. Uh, it'll transmit the FM signal uh, that is variable by the variable capacitor. Uh, as you twist it to the left it will create a higher FM frequency. As you twist it to the right, it will create a lower FM um, transmission just because of how much it's uh, restricting. The way that we made it work is to use a 90.3 uh, transmission and without the button being pushed, it's static. When you push it, it goes silent because it's now receiving the transmission. This works from about 30 feet away, which is about the size of a room, so you'd be able to find anything as long as it's inside of that room. And what, with using the microphone, we, you can say anything into the microphone and it will come through. Unfortunately, we can't have it loud enough, but if you blow in, you can hear it. So using Using this technology, we were able to create a transmitter, and hopefully what the future will bring is using something a little bit smaller than this as a receiver and a watch battery, which is about 3 volts, and create a receiver that you can attach to your different things and be able to locate it as long as you know what room it's in. Uh, through our process, we've gone through many different ideas, like a transducer. What this does is it emits a very high frequency sound through the transducer, and the chip actually helps transmit that, and when you were to push the button if power running to it, the sound would be emitted, and using the receiver, the transducer would also receive it. It would go through the chip, thus creating energy and it would power the light. Unfortunately, it is not enough electricity to actually power a buzzer, so we were only able to use a light. And also, unfortunately, it's about a foot um, radius that you can actually use it at. You have to have it pointing right at it, and if there's any interference, it's not usable. So that idea fell through, but fortunately, the FM transmitter worked, and it's a working working FM transmitter and with more work to it it'll be a finished product.